Uh, welcome everybody to the webinar of today. Uh, the speaker of today is uh, Yannick Ponti, and he's going to talk about easy paths to, to subcritical uh, Dynamo branches. So as usual, I introduce the speaker very briefly, and then I leave him the, the, the floor. So Yannick Ponti is a CNRS uh, research director since 2014 at the Laboratoire um, JL Lagrange, ob Observatoire de la Côte d'Azur in uh, France. He obtained his PhD degree in 1997 from the same affiliation. From 1997 to 2000, he has been a postdoc at the University of Exeter in UK. And between 2000 and 2014, he held the position of Chargé de Recherche, Première Classe CNRS, uh, first at the Laboratory Cassini, then uh, at the Laboratory, laboratory Cassiope, and finally at the Laboratory Lacanche. Uh, Dr. Ponti's uh, research uh, primarily focuses on uh, numerical simulation and modeling of electrically conductive and turbulent flows. He has been developing high resolution parallel numerical simulations to better study regimes with high magnetic Reynolds numbers. His research endeavors uh, involve comprehensive comparisons between simulation results and the experimental data, facilitating a deeper understanding of magnetohydrodynamic and dynamo effect. So it's with great pleasure that we have today here uh, Yannick Ponti. Uh, so now I stop sharing my screen, Yannick, and uh, you can start uh, sharing oh. yours. Okay, super. Hello, I share my screen this one. Okay. And now, yeah, we start. Screen. Yeah, start my. Uh, uh, ah, okay. Uh, we see the yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, no, I know exchange. This is better. Perfect. Oh, okay, yeah. Just new to exchange. Okay, but I'm going to. Okay, thank you very much uh, to to invite me to give uh, this seminar first. Uh, I've been once uh, one time in Lille. Long time ago, it was uh, yes, just before uh, before uh, uh, my PhD was finished. <laughs> it's quite it was quite long time ago, and uh, and then I'm going to to speak about you, but a technical uh, thing to 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 try to reach a, a subcritical uh, branch, but. Of course, we we use our favorite uh, dynamical system, uh, which is a Dynamo MHD problem in this case. But you will see it could be it could be completely uh, general uh, in gen for for fluid dynamic. Um, alors, this work uh, finally was uh, uh, Florence Marcotte. Uh, it's okay. It's uh, a colleague now. She's uh, appointed in Ria, Sophia Antipolis, that she, and she's uh, working in a team. Uh, in a laboratoire Dieudonné, it, which is uh, uh, in Nice, uh, in the University of Science. And uh, we have also uh, appointed a, a postdoc during two years, Paul Mannix, who was helping us uh, on this problem. Then the, really the original idea come from Florence, because she, she worked a lot on optimization in, uh, in field mecha mechanics. And, uh, and before uh, she, she came to Nice, we already discussed to, all together uh, about uh, subcritical branch in Dynamo. And when she arrived, of course, naturally we worked together on this, uh, on this, uh, on, the pre on the work, on the present work I'm going to, to, to show you. Um, then uh, first I'm going to give a, a very quick introduction about Dynamo. Then I, I was looking at the web page of your laboratory in, in Lille, and I saw, oh gosh, there is no MHD uh, problem in your, uh, of course, you are doing plenty of very nice things about turbulence, but no, no with magnetic field. But sorry, guys, uh, I tell you, the magnetic field is everywhere. Uh, you know, of course, especially in a lot of uh, astrophysical objects, but also uh, in, in some experiments. Um, about the experiment about uh, Dynamo, there was only, uh, only three succeed, uh, people must realize that, then using sodium liquid, uh, people have uh, reproduced this instability that I'm going to, to present soon. And, uh, and uh, only in, in Riga in 2000, and 2000 was a really a, a good start for the, the, the Dynamo problem. 
in Riga, donc in Latvia, and also in Germany. Uh, I think the Riga experiment still exists. In Germany, after just two, two sets of one, they, they stopped it because it was in the Plasma uh, Institute and the director said, okay, bon, okay, it's working. Now uh, uh, you, you can take, take off the, the experiment. Uh, you have two paper, it's, it's finished. It's, uh, it's incredible. And of course, we have uh, Cocorico, we have the French team, the Van Karman Sodium team, involving uh, uh, ENS Lyon, ENS Paris, and Paris Saclay. Uh, the, the three teams all together, they built in Cadarache, then in the south of France, uh, a little bit above uh, uh, Aix-en-Provence, a, a beautiful uh, design to, 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 to get the dynamo, and they succeed. Then uh, you have only three experiments. With, And uh, in the US, they try. Uh, there is two, two, two guys who try, they never succeed. Then it's not so easy to, to get a dynamo problem and this instability. That this instability, of course, uh, it's energy instability. Then I present it very quickly for people who don't know very well. Uh, you just co couple the Navier-Stokes equation, your, your, your velocity with the forcing. Imagine in the experiment, it's easy, and the forcing could be the impeller, it could be a, a, a rotor, whatever. You, you force the flow to, to be in some geometry. Uh, in astrophysical object, of course, it would be the rotation, like inside the Earth. Uh, you have a, a dynamo problem with produce the magnetic field of the Earth, then the rotation plus the convection plus other, other things uh, produce this forcing. And this forcing, and of course, the fact that it's a metal, liquid metal, uh, this forcing is going to, if you have a little seed of magnetic field, is going to, 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 to amplify if, of course, you are, uh, you are in the good parameter of setup, you have this instability. Then imagine you are in the bon, good parameters, uh, parameter setup, then you you see a linear, classic linear instability, and after you reach the, the saturation, this is the magnetic energy, and you have here the, the kinetic energy. And you see that the kinetic energy in this system, very linear, very basic, uh, up going down. Then it's an exchange of energy between uh, the magnetic field and, uh, and the, the velocity. You see, you have here in this equation the U, which, which was give you a nonlinear term, which is induce the, 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 the dynamo uh, final term. And the feedback, the feedback is with a Lorentz force um, there. And, uh, and then you have a couple, MHD uh, couple uh, system. Okay. Then you see, for example, In this case, you put a forcing. I will speak more about this Taylor Green forcing. You, you get some, uh, some, velo some magnetic field. And at the saturation, more or less, they are not far away. The, the, the geometry is not far away. The classic uh, non dimensional parameter that we are using, uh, okay, it's very basic. You have the Navier equation then. We are using, of course, uh, the Reynolds number, and also you can build easily uh, a magnetic Reynolds number. Then you have two parameters in this problem, two equations, two parameters uh, give you uh, give you a lot of things. And uh, the ratio between these two parameters, the magnetic quantum number, of course, is, uh, is very important. Uh, look at uh, the the velocity. Uh, I mean, the, the magnetic quantum number in different, uh, uh, for example, for the planet, Jupiter, and even experiment, the magnetic quantum number is very low, which means if you want to have a Reynolds number order 10, you end up to, to you need, and with the magnetic quantum number 10 minus 5, this end up with a Reynolds number at 10 to 6, then you need to have a sort of turbulence flow, a very uh, high uh, flow with a lot of fluctuation to finally to, to, to get the, the, the onset of dynamo, which which really a problem. And this occupy uh, the community during a lot of time. 
to, to get this uh, turbulence flow, especially in France, hein, uh, turbulence flow dynamo. Alors, for my point of view, I'm using more simulation. Uh, you see, uh, the, you know very well that uh, if you want to solve the, the Maestok equation, we're always far away from uh, the, the real parameter. Yes, I put some, uh, alors this is Prandtl number, magnetic Prandtl number, and you have the Reynolds number on this, uh, on this diagram. And you see, if you want to have a DNS, Uh, the DNS is far away from the experiment for the air, from, uh, for the parameter. Oh, of course, you can uh, complete this diagram by putting in the other direction. For example, here, uh, the rotation, or the rotation is worse when you look at the, the earth and, and let you put the Ekman number, for example. Then you see, well, we know we are all the time far away from, uh, uh, from the real parameter, but with some little trick, like subgrid model, you can reach uh, probably, uh, it's possible now, I think, to reach uh, probably some regime of uh, uh, close to the experiment, but it's still, uh, it's still difficult. And you need, of course, to, to, uh, to put a model uh, of dissipation uh, in your system, uh, then uh, large dissimulation, for example, or whatever. And uh, of course, you are imposing the modeling of uh, inside your Navier-Stokes equation. Yes, in this case, you don't need to, to put, um, to, to, to just to model in the, the problem about the turbulence and in the Navier-Stokes equation. Uh, the fact that the magnetic quantum number is very low, you, you don't need to finally to, 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 to subgrid the, the, the magnetic field, just, just the velocity. Okay, this is quite general. And now I come back for, uh, oh, this is quite a uh, lot of people in the, in the uh, that seen 20, 20 years use this, uh, this uh, forcing. Then I'm doing a, a simulation in the periodic box that is very easy, it's very well known because it's a spectral, pseudo spectral code. Uh, you, uh, it's a very easy, uh, everybody knows, you, you solve, and it's very accurate. It's a very important thing, it's very accurate. You don't have a, a numerical dissipation, you control really a lot of things, but of course you don't have a boundary. It's a periodic box, don't everything uh, entering, uh, I mean, uh, exiting air, appearing in the other side and so on. So. But it's, uh, it's quite uh, useful when you, you want to, to study turbulence flow. Uh, and then um, and then why people are using that for all the time for turbulence, MHD, or whatever. Uh, we are still using this periodic box. It's a very nice tool. And uh, I put back the, the MHD equation. Uh, then you see, and then the forcing, okay, there is uh, this parameter, Reynolds number, this parameter is a magnetic Reynolds number. But you have an extra one, which is a geometrical parameter, also some amplitude also. Uh, and you put the forcing that you want in the periodic box. Of course, forcing, uh, the forcing uh, periodic, of course. You need to, to, to be stick with the, the geometry of, uh, of your system. And uh, a, classic, uh, a classic forcing that we are using uh, since uh, 30, even more than uh, 20 years, even 25 years, it's a Taylor Grand vortex because uh, this, uh, this uh, periodic uh, forcing, uh, you have eight little box like this, we call, we call that little fundamental box. If K cannot equal one, huh? of course, if cannot equal two, three, four, five, uh, you, you have plenty of periodic box. And this fundamental box are finally the von Karman. Uh, the von Karman flow. Hein? You have uh, here, uh, yes, a disk turning in one direction and a contrary uh, direction in, other, uh, in, a, in the box side. Then you have a little uh, so toy model of the von Karman, but you have eight of that. And you are periodic, okay? And uh, uh, then more than 15 years ago with uh, Jean-Philippe, We did a nice work with, uh, with this Taylor Green forcing. Uh, we found uh, 
uh, that's uh, this uh, this system. Okay, first give you a dynamo, but it was work uh, from uh, Caroline Nor and uh, and Hélène Politano and also Annie Pouquet. Uh, they first found uh, it was uh, very nice for for dynamo problem. And uh, but in this work, we found that it was possible uh, to, to 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 find a, a subcritical branch. It's been okay. Here, let's let's look at the diagram. Uh, this diagram uh, here, you you have roughly the onset of the, of the dynamo. The Reynolds number needs to be in some uh, some value. You get the instability, you get the dynamo, and you arrive to the magnetic field, wishing the MHD system reach a saturation regime, and you are there. Okay, and you can also continue if you increase the Reynolds number. To, you are on a branch, sub, subcritical, uh, yeah, supercritical branch. But if you start from here and you decay your your, uh, your value of your Reynolds number, you can follow this branch. It's a classic hysteresis cycle after you, you go down and you don't have a, Then we found that this system have a nice subcritical dynamo branch. Uh, then, it, okay, it was fun. And um, okay, this diagram is a little bit complicated because in this direction, you have also an external magnetic field. Uh, why we, we put that? Because uh, in experiments, they, they put external magnetic field Try to to reach to to uh, to to see if uh, it's possible to help the dynamo. And with this diagram, we found that it was possible to 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 get the subcritical branch uh, finally below uh, with an external magnetic field. Then it's less cost uh, to 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 than to find the linear branch. And you after you can imagine to jump to 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 this branch by decreasing slowly the the external magnetic field. Okay. Then you see it was uh, it was uh, at this time people are looking about uh, finding a uh, um, pro problem about uh, the, the Taylor Green, the von Karman. Then the, it was published in two, two seven, but the work was done before, and it was just before I think uh, that uh, the von Karman sodium team found a, a dynamo in, the in their experiment. But this point, the fact that it's a subcritical branch on this uh, MHD uh, system, it's very important for today because uh, with Florence, we, it was a, a starting point for us. And I'm going to explain you the technique by something that you know very well. Uh, then the goal is to find, okay, what is the goal of the, of the, the, the work that we have done is to find uh, a minimal something, a minimal seed able to, to jump directly on the supercritical branch, not to finding the, uh, the, the supercritical branch and to falling back. No, we want to start from here and to jump. It's not so easy. Uh, and, uh, and also sometimes in some system, you don't have a supercritical branch. Then you need to, to, to start to, uh, from, uh, from here and to, to, to jump this supercritical branch, which exists alone. Then, okay, then we use the, the, uh, the green Taylor, enfin, the Taylor green for SIG and our favorite uh, dynamical system tool, which is uh, the dynamo problem. But people, uh, and then for, for, for to doing that, people, uh, we, we, the thing is to find a special structure to, to uh, and optimizing to try to jump on, the, on this branch, okay? And people, it's a point I'm getting at, the people have been looking at this problem uh, in, a, in, a, in a work that you, you know very well in Lille, uh, because uh, you are working on a, on a wind tunnel, a Poisel 4. I mean, this kind of thing has been really fun, uh, tried to, to find very, uh, uh, very early. I mean, it's a very classic uh, problem in, uh, since, uh, since uh, let's say, two, two, almost, uh, yes, uh, two, 200 years, years ago. And uh, we know that uh, the, the Poisel problem uh, is linear, it's stably linear, okay? Uh, but finally, after a lot of work, people found that ah, it's possible there is also a subcritical branch and it's possible to find some, some instability, which is uh, creating uh, this, uh, this problem. Then uh, there was a nice work from Peter Schmidt, 
he was there just last last week ago with us, uh, and he he used we call that a non-modal stability analysis. The, this linear stability is finally looking at the mode the mode of the stability, but this is non-modal. And I will, I will explain you this more, a little bit more, sir. And he found finally that it's possible with non-modal to find some transients of, uh, uh, to, of this kind of uh, subcritical uh, uh, analysis. Also, also um, it's possible uh, to find also, there is another work uh, after this non-modal stability analysis to find a non-linear, non-modal stability analysis. I'm going to explain you that very soon. Uh, and this work uh, was well uh, presented by a review of Karshwell. Then you have a review of Peter Schmidt and Karshwell, which is in UK, uh, about all the times, uh, it was about stratified quad flow, but it could be also about the shift flow in a, in a tunnel or in, a, or in an experiment like this. Then uh, the, the work of Peter Schmidt uh, using non-modal uh, non stability, he was looking at a sort of a variational formulation uh, of the problem, trying to find some transient. Uh, then you don't find uh, eigenvalue because the eigenvalue are stable. You find the, the most, uh, uh, again, let's say, place or, or in, your, in your parameter, well, it's possible to find some transients. It means that you have a sort of, you, you, are, you see the system growing, starting with, with some seed, okay? And after, okay, it's going down. Then to doing that, you do a formulation, uh, variational formulation by, uh, you are looking by the hydrant problem. It means that first you start with a sort of uh, DNS problem, you, you, you build a gradient, and this Lagrangeant, you try to optimize it use, using classic technique of uh, um, adding uh, so, some uh, constraint. Um, and, and by optimizing this Lagrangeant, due is possible finally by looping this problem to find some what kind of seed uh, that you can put in your system to find this transient finally. And he found uh, some, uh, some uh, finally, some uh, uh, by an iterative shame. And this iterative shame is sort of optimization, of course, option, uh, using optimization technique. Because you use DNS, and after you come back with the adjoint, and you, you, you have a, a sort of gradient, and you, you, using the, the classic technique to, to optimize the, the gradient. And, and then you, you look back and he found out that it's possible to find some little perturb what kind of perturbation give you that, okay? And, um, and after, uh, I'm going back to that uh, after. Uh, Kershaw presents also a technique using a non-linear model stability analysis. Then it's the same idea you need to, by using uh, the, the DNS loop adjoint optimization system, you want to finally to find what is the minimal seed uh, or let's say a seed, a sort of perturbation. And this perturbation, you hope that they are going to go and to go and to reach the subcritical branch of your problem, you see? And, uh, Kershaw, Kershaw, he, he, uh, he just, uh, uh, you can find all this, uh, this uh, nice review on, uh, uh, yes, just uh, five years ago. And uh, it was uh, very interesting. But because, and then uh, Florence knew this technique and she said, why not to use that, using that in dynamo problem? Alors, to, I'm going to explain you this, uh, this diagram and you see, uh, that you have a perturbation and this perturbation seems to grow and perturb completely your system to, to produce an instability and you reach another branch of finally of, uh, of the system. Then it's clearly, uh, the system is clearly that. 
you, you put a sort of, uh, you, you need to put a, a perturbation and this perturbation is enough. She, she remains on the edge, okay? Uh, she's not going to, 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 to go to, to finally to, to, to the turbulence or to, to the instability that you found. And, we, and after she come back, it is more or less that Peter Schmidt show that the, the minimal seed are going to, 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 to go in down. That is sort of transient. Uh, you, you have a, a transition um, of, your, of your, your, your system, but they are not leaving finally this area. Uh, with the, the work of nonlinear non-modal stability uh, theory, it is possible to finally to leave if, if of course the energy inside the seed and also the geometry optimizing the Tufan by optimization, it's possible to reach the, the subcritical branch or the branch of the turbulence that you want, uh, especially in the tube problem, in the pine problem, sorry, in the pine problem you, is that you want if what kind of minimal seed are going to, to perturb you, your system. But of course, application are plenty of applications, especially in pipe for, uh, for, uh, uh, for gas or for, for petrol. Uh, you don't want to have turbulence. You don't want to have this kind of perturbation because you know that the turbulence is going to slow you down the system and it will be not efficient. People are using optimization using this uh, kind of uh, loop in induction equation, but it was not at all in the same way. Uh, think you to uh, they was using optimization to, to find the what kind of optimal velocity I can get a dynamo. Then you have the work of Willis, who is, uh, is in uh, in UK uh, in London. You have also some people in France and Peter Jackson. They did that in the uh, this uh, the Willis problem was uh, in the periodic box, uh, Chen, uh, uh, Vitze, and uh, and Andy. Uh, also, it was in the tube, but a real tube confined. Um, and also, so they, they, they did that for the shift flow, and they did that also for the sphere. But you know, it's roughly the same uh, kind, of, kind of optimization. You, you, you create, you put a Lagrangian, uh, you want to optimize, for example, the energy of the magnetic field, you want to, to get a dynamo. Uh, then you have, of course, a lot of uh, constraint by, and you put Lagrange multiplier. And after you optimize it, you, you find the, uh, the adjoint like this by computation analytical computation generally, and you do a loop and you optimize the system and you find uh, that the velocity, the, what the optimal velocity to get a dynamo. But you see, it's not the full uh, MHG system. The, this work has been done only for the uh, induction equation and they would like to optimize the V and B sometime. Uh, then it's not the same thing that we, we present today. Uh, that we present to do, we are more following the path that Kirchwell are doing. Then we are with the MHG equation, you build a gradient, you put uh, essentially the induction equation, the, the Navier-Stokes equation, some uh, constraints, and you want to optimize this uh, Lagrangian uh, that you, you want that, uh, alors, the, the, of course, you need a lost or uh, optimized function for that. There is plenty of. Uh, this is classic optimal uh, technique. Uh, in our case, we, we, we choose okay, the, the, the magnetic energy, but integrating along the time. Okay? You integrate the system for, to a time t, and uh, you need a, a scalar product, and you want to optimize this kind of thing. And for that, like I say, you, you build this direct adjoint system. You have DNS in the first time. After you, you, you come back to, to adjoint uh, equation, you have a gradient. And this gradient is going to be uh, optimized and uh, using uh, that you put finally in your, uh, all the, the constraints that you put in your Lagrangian. You can change that you want and you can change constraints. 
you can change also uh, uh, the, the, the lost fun function or the cost function. It depends of, of the pe uh, people are calling that. And, uh, and then by that, you, you optimize the, the, the problem, the system. Alors, the equation uh, has been uh, that you compute analytically, and after you implement it in your simulation code. If that's essentially that have been done. And also, you need to build also this, uh, this, uh, uh, this system. Uh, I mean, this numerical system, of course. You want everything automatic. Then I present you sort of numerical implementation. Then you have a DNS code. Uh, of your MHD equation, okay? You put a seed of, of your uh, of the magnetic field, uh, the first seed, uh, the velocity. After you let for until big T your system involve. And the point of this uh, of this technique uh, DNS adjoint, you need to save of all the the B and V at each time step. Then this is very costless. Uh, you, you, you need really to, to save all the field. Then uh, you can imagine with this technique, it's not possible to reach uh, 1,000 Q problem. Uh, we use 64, 128, you need to so solve. Alors, if you're solving, uh, if you're recording on the disk, it's horrible, it takes a lot of time. The best thing is to have big, big cluster with big memory, you solve it in memory, and then after, you need that for the adjoint code. I give you back the equation. And you see in the equation, you have U and you have B. U tilde are the variable for the, the adjoint problem, but U and B come from here. And at the same time, you see, you start at time equal T, you, and you get back. It's like a forward, uh, back, sorry, a backward. You have a forward and a backward and to end up at t equals zero. And you see it's really a, an adjoint problem. And you see uh, that you need this B. And this B, uh, you need to record it. That's uh, the big uh, numerical problem of, the, of, this, uh, of this system. Then you need to save all this field in, in, in memory. Alors, it's possible when the, the T, uh, the, the, you don't have enough memory, for example, to, to solve not all the, the, the at each uh, time, you can solve a few of them, and then you need to come back. You, you do again your your DNS from from the, this point, and and after you, you you compute your adjoint, you come back there, you do your DNS, and you come back to to to, to solve your adjoint. Then you see uh, there is possibility, of course, depending on the memory that you have, uh, to to implement also this this uh, this system. Then finally, you have your DNS code. You, you, you end up with your, your, uh, your magnetic field and velocity. You, you put it in your adjoint system, and you have that we call that the gradient, uh, the thing that you want to optimize. And then after, I built an optimization library uh, because uh, with Python. For example, this code, um, it's in, it is my code. It's C++. Uh, then you have the code doing that, uh, automatically giving the, the good variable and saving everything and doing the adjunct. Then if I put uh, B and V, I, I, I get a B ticked, then the gradient. But after I pass this automatic through an optimization library uh, that I built with Python, then finally the Python library is a master and the code in C++ parallel, for example, or C, whatever the, the code, is, uh, is a slave. And then it's really the library, Python library, which is say, OK, uh, do the DNS adjoint thing, do the DNS only, do thing, and you release the, the Python uh, finally library uh, is, uh, is uh, yes, is doing, is saying, OK, uh, it's like a function finally. This is, a, is just my code, run the code uh, uh, DNS adjoint or just DNS, I will explain you why, um, uh, by, uh, by the, the Python library. That's why I put one master code and I try to be more generic as possible in Python uh, using uh, some factory method uh, technique like in C++. 
But uh, this library actually, uh, I mean, the Python library is uh, is uh, working with Scuby, the my periodic code, but also with Snoopy. Snoopy, it's a it's a sharing box code produced uh, also by a, a colleague. I will explain you which one, and after and uh, and then you just need to okay, you have only only one library uh, of optimization, and you have a, a sort of connection code between Snoopy or QB, it depends, uh, then you need to implement all this kind of thing. And when you have that, uh, you can uh, do optimization and uh, you start with uh, B and V, you put in your master code, which after, uh, it will do the loop automatically for you. Uh, it will do the DNS and, uh, and the, the optimization thing. And finally, you end up with a, a, a minimum a seed. And this seed, you will see after you need, uh, yes, this seed, this uh, B optimized, this uh, magnetic field optimized. Uh, this seed, you will see using your DNS code if it is a dynamo or not dynamo. Then, first, you need to do a, a DAL, we call that DNS adjoint loop. You get the seed, you put the seed in your DNS by hand, and it's not automatic. Okay, you restart your DNS code, you see it is a dynamo or not. And finally, like this, you make also a big loop, uh, and you want to find what is the minimal energy uh, possible for your seed. It is really it's, it's that we call minimal seed. Now, uh, Finally, this is just a seed, a seed with the uh, with, uh, energy that you give and that you want, you want a minimal seed. Alors, if you want to, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, alors, first you need to, to test and, and validate all this loop. Imagine, this is a, you have a, a master code in Python. So master code is going to, to, to call you a, a, a code in C++, C++ do DNS, it's okay, it's working. It's as I'm doing since uh, 20 years, but after we implemented the adjoint also system, you need to check that the adjoint is working, there is no bug. Then we had to, of course, to uh, the thing, of course, all the time in numerics, which takes time is to check and check and check and to be sure that you are computing correctly the system. And to do that, for example, uh, you can do, you using the, the Willis problem for optimization, and uh, you can do uh, the estimation of the gradient by just by like this. This is a, the costless function, and the costless function, if you put, put a little perturbation, uh, normally, she, the, like this, uh, in this perturbation point, uh, it should give you, uh, the, it, it should be exactly the, 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 the adjoint, the gradient, okay? Then it's a way to check that your gradient is correct. You, 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 you solve correctly your gradient. And uh, to doing that, then you put, to take little perturbation uh, in the system, uh, and you can check uh, if uh, finally, the, you, you can rebuild all your, each perturbation, let's say it's a little, uh, little point in this 32, 32 uh, grid, uh, okay? Uh, square grid, yeah, of course, square. Uh, you put the square perturbation, and then what happens, you can build uh, perturbation by perturbation, then I need to do uh, 10,024 DNS, to, to get, uh, finally, the, the adjoint built by this technique. And of course, after you can compare with the real one that I've done already once by the, uh, the, the DAL loop, DNS adjoint loop, and I can check if it is correct. Uh, visually, you can check, okay, it's working well, okay? Then this make time to, to do doing this kind of thing. Uh, and when everything is working, okay, you can send your typical DNS adjoint uh, system. And uh, for example, uh, uh, alors, of course, you see it's a small simulation, 64 cube. But uh, you, you, for example, if you go to integrate uh, 
to t equal 10, big T, uh, the integral of big T, it's uh, the integration that you want to integrate, you want to optimize. It was 10,000 time, uh, time step. And you see, uh, if you do that simulation, uh, you are oh, first, you need the problem of shared memory. Yeah, you need to solve each velocity and magnetic field. You end up with, for example, in this case, with 120 gigabytes, then it's fine. There are plenty of, course, of cluster with one tera gigabyte. And in shared memory, there are no problem. You, it's, it's working well. But for example, in this case, to find the, the, the minimal seed or, put, or, or the, the, the seed for, for, for this, uh, this problem, uh, this give me 11 uh, loop like this. Ah, you have also the line search. Or the line search are the technique for optimize uh, the, the gradient. Uh, in the gradient system, imagine you have a curve. Ah, I don't have a, yeah, I, I don't have a, so, yeah, imagine a curve, just a classic curve like this. You want to, to find the minimal problem, huh? just a, let, let's say a, a Gaussian, okay, a curve like this, and you want to do a minimal, you do by step, okay? But at once, uh, when we reach, you are close from, from the minimal uh, system, uh, you need to, to be closer and closer. You need that to decrease your, your, your step, the step uh, to, on the gradient. And this, what the, the line chart is doing, is helping you to, 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 to go slowly when you are close from the minimal. It's just a very basic and, and classic optimization technique, okay? But this involves, yes, 11 uh, DNS uh, and uh, adjoint loop, and you see five, 15 just a DNS loop, and uh, clearly on, on a 16 course, uh, you just four hours, but you need to do that a lot of time, okay? And you see the anti diagram, you have the blue line. The blue line, it's a convergence of uh, the, we call that the, the rest of your, uh, of, it's, yeah, it's a convergence of your optimization. And this is, it is the, the cost function uh, we want to optimize. Or general, okay, the cost function is to, this, in this uh, diagram, it is a, an up, a maximum, but sometimes sometime we put like a minimum. It depends where you put a minus in the front of, uh, of your cost function or not. It's, it's the same way. You see, and then you see, okay, I'm, I'm converging. Then, of course, uh, like I say, we, we did, uh, uh, we use the Taylor Green because we knew that there was already a subcritical branch. Then we need to find some seed and to, to reach, try to reach the, the uh, try to, feel, to reach the subcritical branch here. Then it, it was, was that the, the goal of, of this work to see if this fully nonlinear uh, optimization technique was working. Uh, then we knew, of course, it was more easier to start at knowing that was a subcritical branch in this system. Then we, we did that and we found a subcritical branch. We found that it was possible by putting very low energy to find a minimal seed to reach the subcritical branch, which is uh, reaching the saturation dynamo, classic uh, Taylor Green uh, dynamo. And you see the amazing geometry that we found that the system give us. It was a, a vortex, a magnetic vortex. Alors in, in red, it is a magnetic field. And in blue, it's, it's a current. That, then the system end up with a sort of uh, optimal control. It defines sort of a, a vortex, magnetic, little magnetic vortex. And with that, it's possible to, 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 to reach uh, the, the, the system, the, the, so, sorry, the subcritical branch. Alors, you have the, mini, the minimal seed that we found. You start from here. You, you start with this seed, uh, okay? And after you, you put this in a classic DNS uh, simulation and you reach, uh, you see that you reach the dynamo and you reach the, the, the correct branch of the subcritical branch. Normally, when you, you put uh, 
some energy. It's very difficult, uh, let's say random energy. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to, to, to get there. You need, I, I do the test, you need to be, oh, sorry, you need to be uh, close from here to, 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 to be on the, to reach the attractor. But with this minimal branch, uh, minimal seed, you can reach with this branch more easily. And the important thing, when you put the, this minimal branch, uh, mi sorry, minimal seed, when you put this minimal seed, uh, your, uh, your increase uh, is not the linear, it's not linear. You see, okay, there is a, uh, here the, the way, uh, uh, the way. There are a few steps. The few steps are algebraic. And after there are some, uh, some, uh, some transients, uh, some, yes, let's say a little plateau. And after you, you see the rich, uh, that is not a classic, uh, a classic uh, dynamo and stability, classic, uh, uh, like, uh, because you, again, value problem. It's really completely nonlinear to reach uh, the, the branch. Uh, and this path, if you want, it's, uh, it's when you remember the, the system that I present you, uh, when you have a, a path in your system, uh, it's more complicated and comp completely nonlinear. Then it was the case one of your, uh, of your work. Uh, and you have all the minimal branch that we found here, uh, minimal in the sense that if you put, you put energy there with exactly the same geometry of the seed, you go down, but there you go up. Alors, people say, oh, this look like uh, the dot, dot, dot that nobody can find. Uh, generally, oh, yeah, it's possible to find it, but it's quite, it's quite difficult by other techniques uh, following branch. And then you see uh, of subcritical, uh, well, it's not clear that uh, this is a dot, 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 uh, uh, unstable branch that you have in a, in a, in a classic uh, uh, hysteresis cycle. Then we, Paul did the, did the work, uh, did the same work also on a sheer uh, quasi Kepperian uh, quad flow. Then he was using uh, uh, the, another code and uh, he did the work. And why is this work? Because uh, uh, in this state, we knew a little bit that it was possible also to have a subcritical branch. Uh, there was a, the work of, uh, of um, Rancon, uh, did he find existence or possible existence of a supercritical work? Uh, it construed by Newton iteration, by enforcing symmetry. That is not, comp is not at all the same, uh, same way to, to find the, the thing. Then it's possible. Then we knew that there was also perhaps an existence of supercritical uh, uh, branch. Then why not to, 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 to using that? And, uh, and we found out that uh, yes, we found uh, first, we, we, it's possible to, to find a seed, an optimal seed. You, you give an energy in the system and you, you found a seed. Uh, the seed is quite, quite basic. Hein? It's a roll along the shear axis. Alors, it did the work with the Daedalus code. Hein? Okay. And why it's interesting also problem? Because uh, in this system, there is no dynamo at all, uh, super critical, uh, finally, instability. Uh, and then uh, it's sure that if you get a dynamo, it, it should be subcritical. OK? Um, then it, it was interesting. And in the same way, you see, uh, when you find the, the branch, uh, the, the minimal seed, you, you start with the minimal seed here, for example, and you reach the, the branch, the unstable branch here. Uh, okay, and then this unstable branch, we, it was possible to identify the, uh, also the, how the, along this nonlinear path, it was possible to see that there was an omega effect, uh, which is uh, amplified uh, the magnetic field and uh, and uh, and then it was uh, it was uh, fun also be, to see because it was possible to identify if you want on this nonlinear path to what kind of um, uh, dynamo we we have to to reach branch 
and uh, yes, it's uh, 47. Uh, and you see that uh, uh, the, the nonlinear interaction be between uh, uh, after, of course, after when you, you start with a branch, you are on, on, the, on, on the, you start with the seed, you, you, you are on the branch, and the system becomes more and more, a uh, little bit more uh, uh, turbulent and chaotic, of course. Then uh, I, I have roughly at the end, uh, we test this approach with our, uh, sub, we our favorite uh, toy model, which is Dynamo, MHD problem, using Taylor Green. Uh, then the, the, this work is published and, uh, in, uh, in the PRL. And uh, we are happy. It was editor suggestion. This means this work uh, makes sense, uh, let's say, for the editor anyway. Uh, of course, we thank uh, the, the referee uh, for, for, for this, uh, to, to refer to this problem. And, uh, and you see this technique could be used, of course, has been used in the pipe, uh, in the shear flow. Then uh, you can find uh, all the, that's uh, essentially on the Kerchwell uh, paper. It was uh, very interesting. I think you, you will be interesting for that to find the minimal seed, the minimal perturbation to, to, to reach a subcritical branch. Then these techniques are really uh, general. Uh, and we are, of course, we are happy that uh, it was working for MHD. And also, the, the technique is fully nonlinear. You see, I was using the full nonlinear uh, MHD uh, simulation and, uh, by, by that. Then you have no assumption of symmetry, time dependence, mechanism, whatever. It's possible to, 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 to reach more easily. A subcritical branch. It was a success for that. And uh, actually, we are uh, using the same, the same technique, the same uh, framework, uh, the Python framework, uh, but using another code. Uh, this code is the code, um, perhaps, I don't know if you know, it's a code um, uh, Snoopy, built, it's also a spectral code, built by uh, Geoffroy Le Sur. Uh, is uh, actually in Grenoble. And uh, this code uh, doing the shear, the, shear, uh, the, the shear flow with, uh, they call that, uh, well, what is the name again? Uh, sharing box. Uh, they, they are using the sharing bond techniques. Uh, you, when, the shear, when you are sharing all the box, after there is sort of, uh, uh, you, you rescale the, uh, uh, in, the direct, in this direction, you scale the mode, and uh, you, finally you, you take away the smaller scale, uh, finally from the, of course, from the, the shear. And um, with this technique, you working with also uh, a colleague uh, uh, of the observatory, Eloise Meur, which is working on a, on, a, on a planetary disk, of course, were interesting by. Uh, the, the accretion disk problem, and also another guy, he was in postdoc, enfin, few, let's say, not a postdoc, two months of uh, invitation, now he's got a position in Onera, then he did, uh, he, did he implements, uh, William implements uh, directly the, the adjoint problem, and now we have the DNS and adjoint problem in the, <coughs> in the, the, the Snoopy code, and we found also the minimal seed. And in this case, you see the minimal seed, the geometry of the, the, the minimal seed is completely different. You see, it's, alors, it's like, uh, alors, this is uh, WZ, but it could be the anthropy also. It's, it's the same thing. Yes, it is the vertical anthropy because this problem is 2D. Yeah, first, first we start with a 2D problem, and we knew also it was a subcritical uh, uh, bifurcation. Yes, it's more easier. There is no, uh, of course, it's, the problem is stable, as you know, um, but you know that there was a subcritical uh, bifurcation because the problem is using also baroclonic instability. And you see the geometry of uh, the, the minimal seed is completely different, of course, than my problem. Alors, the, the geometry, it's a strong uh, shear, 
uh, there, you see you have, uh, yes, this is a, a wall of the velocity and a wall of the velocity. And it was possible also to, to find a minimal seed. Normally in this problem, in the subcritical uh, Geoffroy had to put uh, some amplitude of the fluctuation of the perturbation or the, let's say O dot one. And, you, and with our minimal seed, it was possible to take, uh, take down 10 minus three. And it's really efficient. You optimize the system to find uh, to find the way. That first, uh, first why we are, we are doing that is because we we want to to, to use, of course, uh, um, this uh, this technique for more complicated system, 3D, uh, uh, probably hydrodynamic, just hydrodynamic, and to see if it's possible to to find subcritical branch, of course. Then I'm up with my our ongoing and perspective research. Um, Florence and uh, Steve Tobias and also Kalung, postdoc, they try to do some uh, to some tracking of the the subcritical branch of the strong branch of the geodynamo. The geodynamo people think that the, the Earth uh, geodynamo are not in a branch that you found easily in a geo geophysical uh, simulation. Uh, they are more in a branch more upper with more energy. Well, the magnetic energy are uh, more energy for, uh, essentially than the, the fluctuation energy. Then they try to, for the moment, I don't, for the moment, I don't know if they, they found it, but uh, it's, quite, it's quite a tough problem. Uh, then I show you that we are using the Snoopy, uh, Snoopy code to, 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 to do the shine box. And personally also with, with Florence, we, we can look at the precession dynamo problem which is the next uh, experimental dynamo, which is in Germany. And why not also the work that we, we did uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with Nicola Plion uh, and also some, uh, some people in Germany, uh, simulating also the, the full von Karman. Uh, we are simulating the disk propeller churning in the, in the von Karman using uh, immersive penalization boundary, moving MPLR, then the, the MPLR are moving, then why not to, to using that perhaps to, to find some subcritical branch, but it's uh, also it will be a, a very uh, quite heavy simulation because it's 3D. Um, then finally, yes, and that uh, at the end of, uh, of my talk, I just uh, want to, see, to give you a remark. You see that uh, the, the original subcritical branch that we found with, uh, uh, with Jean-Philippe 15 years ago, uh, we, we are using it to, 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 finally to check if, if this uh, technique was working. Uh, finally, uh, Jean-Philippe Jean was founding a, a little seed, uh, the, the most little seed, to, to reach uh, to reach a subcritical branch and to be far away from from the from the Taylor Green uh, forcing, but I, I didn't find it personally. I'm still uh, using the, the Taylor Green forcing and the Taylor Green dynamo to to, to to do my science. Then he found the subcritical branch and doing other stuff in turbulence. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with it, I'm st and uh, I'm still working uh, recently also with uh, also with the Taylor King uh, Dynamo for uh, other things. Then, uh, okay, I'm finished. Thank you. So thank you, Yannick, for uh, for the presentation. So uh, I would say then uh, we can uh, open the stage for question if you're if you're okay with that. Yeah, I I have a question. Thank you, Yannick. It was a very nice seminar. But there is one word I didn't hear, which is helicity. Do you have any comment? <laughs> uh, no, yes, uh, I didn't really check. Uh, uh, oh, perhaps I should share again, uh, sorry. I'm going to share the, the yeah, perhaps not so, uh, yeah, the slide. Yes, when you look, uh, uh, when you look at, uh, ah, uh, okay, never mind. like, like this is, is, is good. Uh, yeah, when you look at uh, the seed, I was looking, it was a LCT, uh, uh, if it is increasing uh, the, yes, where are the seed? Yeah. When you look at the geometry of the seed, it's amusing because of course you have the magnetic uh, uh, vortex and uh, you say, oh gosh, uh, perhaps uh, it's possible that it's going to, to optimize the LCT or the, the cross LCT. Uh, 
uh, it's true that I didn't check carefully about that. Uh, I should. Uh, perhaps uh, it's a good question, I think. <laughs> Does the system, the MHD system, uh, I think I checked a little bit, but uh, it was, was not convincing. But uh, it's true that uh, probably uh, there is some, uh, some uh, extra, uh, let's say, um, uh, um, um, uh, yes, extra quantity were probably important uh, to understand why the geometry of this thing. It's possible that it could be helicity, magnetic helicity, cross helicity. There is one thing that I should check, but for the moment, I think I check uh, cross helicity, uh, but the cross helicity, the velocity is not optimized. But I should check also the magnetic electricity is true to see if there is a sort of optimization of uh, this uh, global quantity. Yes. Thank you. So let's see if there is uh, if there are other uh, questions. So to whoever would like to ask a question, just feel free to unmute your mic and ask the question, or you can write in the chat and they can report it. Um, I, I do actually, ah, Jean-Philippe, go ahead. Yeah, okay, thank you, uh, Yannick. Um, ju just a technical question. Uh, you said that you, uh, when you compute the adjunct, I mean, it's ex extremely expensive in terms of memory. Uh, yeah. So there is a strong limitation in terms of resolution. Uh, do you think that it is a limitation to, f to a strong limitation for you or no 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 when i say it's a limitation is when you want to not to to play the game to when you do your dns okay there uh you, i think yeah, you're still uh, seeing my uh, do you see also my uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all right okay and then you see you need to save all the feed but not completely you you could uh, you could do the, the technique by Okay, you do the DNS, you solve some of them, some of them, and after you can come back. Uh, it means you start there and you do again your, your, uh, your DNS, you use it to do your adjoint, okay, in this direction, mm -hmm. and again and again, you, then you, it's more costless, finally, numerically, but, but then you can increase the resolution. You can increase the resolution and adapt to the resolution or add and by you adapt the number of output by the finally the memory available to, to your to, to your computer okay or your, your cluster let's say your, your cluster but actually there is cluster with a lot of lot of uh, memory one one terabyte two terabytes with a huge number of uh, of uh, uh, node of a core on it it's incredible i mean uh, they are increasing that in the tendency, it's more worse. Well, well, it's possible to come back on sort of sharp, more share memory problem than, than in the past. But it's true, the limitation comes from that. When you come back, when you compute your adjoint, you need to have the velocity and B. But you see, you can use this technique by, by re restarting your, uh, your DNS. And then you, you, you stock your, uh, you take in memory just the amount of memory that you, you have just there, for example, you're using that to, to, to put your adjunct and again and again. After you have, of course, your memory and you are doing that. Uh, I think. Uh, okay, it but that, so, so it means that you need a, a quite big computer, computational power. To, yeah. to the problem for which is at fairly low resolution, but this is the drawback. Uh, yeah, exactly. Of course, uh, the system you you need to you see. Of course, yeah. it's possible nowadays, but uh, yeah, it's possible nowadays. Okay. Uh, and uh, yes, and you, I, I don't have. I try to think about uh, the what the people have done the most uh, highest simulation as possible using this technique. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. I should look at uh, carefully about that. But I think it's possible to do 256 uh, by cutting, you know, uh, by cutting uh, and by restarting, restarting the system. I think this is possible. Uh, it's, you, you just put some uh, uh, point, uh, 
restarting point, hein, restart, we call that, like this, restarting point uh, velocity, then you're restarting, for example, uh, at this point, you do your DNS and you come back. This is possible, yeah. Okay. yeah but you need to implement this in your code. Then this is uh, also uh, uh, technique. Uh, this is technically, you need to, to be sure that you are doing this well. <laughs> okay, thanks. So I, I do have a question which is somehow uh, related to the to the question of Jean Philippe. Um, it's it's about like the um, optimal uh, seed or the minimal seed you you uh, you compute uh, because yeah. it is observed, uh, for example, in the pipe flow that uh, um, when they try to to find this sort of uh, structures uh, that they are sensitive to the size of the uh, of the domain, right? You can uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of numerically stabilize uh, uh, a minimal seed by uh, having a, a, a pipe which uh, like a, a numerical domain which is uh, somehow too short. Do you experience the same thing? Do you find a certain sort of robustness of the minimal seed you compute? Um, oh, the, the robustness is, yes, is completely, uh, I mean, uh, the, alors, when you, there is one thing, when you change, uh, of, there are a lot of things in, in this problem. First, you start with, the, let's say, noise of the magnetic field for the, your first DNS, okay? And also you end up, you, uh, yeah, I didn't speak too much about that. You end up with a, a, ve a starting velocity. Alors, and after you do your DNS. And this starting velocity, in all this process, uh, it's always the same, okay? Then if you change the starting velocity of your MHD system, uh, what you are going to get, uh, you are going to get the same geometry of the seed, but sometimes they are in different place. Alors, we found that uh, the, the, the place where the seed is uh, could be uh, uh, some... Uh, 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 some uh, important points of the velocity of the Taylor green, for example, uh, some, um, uh, some uh, where the velocity is equal to, is close to, 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 to be a minimal or something like this. Then the geometry, uh, could, could, the geometry of the, the begin of the, of the velocity, uh, this one, could change where the minimal seed uh, are in the cube. But Sometimes you, you could even have a little one and a big one, okay? Because you optimize all the, finally, the, the cube, huh? and uh, you, you could end up with uh, whatever the field when you optimize the system. But uh, finally, at the end, it's always the same geometry. You end up all the time with this little vortex, magnetic vortex. Uh, and this magnetic vortex could be there, there, there. And, uh, uh, in my case, it's like this. About, uh, about pipe, I don't know. I, I don't know. I never work on pipe. I was just looking at a uh, paper that people have been done on that. Uh, of course, uh, I don't know if you speak about the geometry of the pipe. You mean... Uh, uh, I mean, no. uh, the, the, the simulation has a certain periodic length, which is basically yeah. in yeah. The, yeah, you know that one I, I'm yeah, talking exactly. about. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, this could, could depend, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because because they find some kind of, uh, uh, some, some people, they call them superstructures, which are uh, uh, then, uh, they may be fictitiously uh, stabilized by the, the, the periodic length, uh, the, uh, the length of the periodic box used for the simulations, yeah, which yeah, sure. in this case, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, this could change. And uh, the amazing thing is uh, when, uh, when you look at uh, the other problem, for example, uh, the subcritical baroclinic instability, then you have Navier-Stock, you have rota uh, it is Navier-Stock rotation, uh, you have uh, uh, then, uh, um, let, let's say thermal, thermal also equation. Uh, there is no magnetic field huh, in, the, in this problem, and you see and the shear, the shear box, the shear rotation. Yes, uh, the thermal, yeah, the factor of the, the temperature also, um, and then you you end up uh, with a completely completely different uh, uh, minimal seed. Enfin, 
geometry of the music different. But you see, it's amusing. You end up with the, 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 the geometry of the, of the, of the seed. Uh, you have a little, let's say, little sh shear uh, localized. You see, uh, we, could, we could call that a shear tone, uh, like a convecton, you know? Yes. <laughs> you a, a shear tone. There's a shear tone, a shear, or chiron, I don't know how you call, you call that. You have a minimal. Then with, uh, with uh, Eloise, we try to now to find what kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, astrophysical uh, object, perturbation, whatever, could produce this minimal scene uh, because this could be interesting. To, we can try to imagine the mathematics gives up that, and the numeric and the mathematic optimization gives that. Now we try to find if it is possible to find to 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 see if there is a um, astrophysical natural perturbation to produce a, perhaps I don't know let's say a planet or mm -hmm. or a little planet Zimo or uh, different density in the disk can produce this kind of uh, object uh, for the minimal scene. This could be fun. Uh, and yeah. then saying, uh, if you have this object, we know that it's possible to reach uh, a subcritical, uh, more easily, more easily, a subcritical uh, uh, branch, finally, of your system. That's the point. It was, uh, it was uh, this uh, tool, it's interesting for that, uh, because uh, you see, and, uh, and finally, uh, the geometry of, uh, of the seed are, are close from the, the physics that you put in your system. I go to vortex, magnetic vortex in the periodic box. We got, uh, yeah, yeah, look, like, look again also of the sheer quite uh, Taylor problem. Yes. We could roll, uh, the minimum seed was a roll uh, along the shear, you see, very basic, hein, very classic mm -hmm. that you can think about uh, when you have a, a, such a system. And, and this is a little sherton. Yeah, I love the, the word <laughs> to, to put. And, uh, and uh, no, it's, it's interesting. And you must be, be careful. We, we had uh, some difficulty in this case. Uh, the difficulty was uh, uh, the system. First, uh, uh, Paul he, he built uh, okay, the system and the optimization, and he found a, a sort of optimization. He found a, a seed completely different than this one. And this seed was produced by the zero mode. The mo and we didn't say to the system, no, please don't put uh, the zero mode uh, possibility uh, and uh, we had to kill it. Enfin, anyway, it was uh, a possible, you must be a little bit careful with that. With the periodic box, you don't have this problem because uh, you, it's impossible to create uh, the zero mode uh, in the periodic box. But uh, in this, uh, in this simulation, it was possible. And of course, the system give you, or it, it, it tell you, okay, the seed, it's a, a, a mean, a mean uh, flow. And then of course the mean flow is optimal to, to reach the, the, which is not that we want, okay? <laughs> we don't want yeah. a mean flow. Uh, then you have to kill the mean flow to be sure that you have the good seed. Then uh, you must be a little bit be careful that you are doing sometime uh, with, by, by the optimization. Yeah, because because you risk to optimize like uh, steady, uh, like yeah, yeah, the the the, the mean mode, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, so I do have another question, but uh, yeah. let's see if there is someone else who would like to to ask a question and uh, just feel free to unmute your mic if you have any. Hmm? Well, if that's not the case, then I can ask uh, <laughs> my my second one. It's yeah. about the the um, uh, Lagrangian you uh, ah. operator you 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 opt yes yes. So um, uh, yeah, my question is uh, related to the first term of the Lagrangian. So in in this case, you basically optimize for the m zero, right? Yeah. And um, would it make sense to optimize for an m for an m zero that includes also, uh, for example, the kinetic uh, part? Because oh, yeah. here, yeah, yeah, because... yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, you have, uh, for example, uh, there is plenty of possibility. Yeah. Uh, in this case, we want that it would be the magnetic seed. Okay? Yes, yes, that's exactly. why we found that. But for example, uh, alors, this problem is not the same. Alors, like, in the problem of Willis, 
Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, they do the same technique, but fine. Fine, it's not exactly the same technique. It's linear problem. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's not mm -hmm. the same exactly. The, it's not the full MHD problem at all. And then they use that uh, to, uh, sorry, to, uh, to, and they optimize U and B also mm -hmm. all together. Uh, yeah. I think mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. possible. Or is this Lagrangian is you have only B, but it's possible to optimize U and B. Yeah, because I was thinking that in uh, one of the, I think the last slide you presented in which you introduced the, the problem of uh, like this in, one? The, in the no in the very last one oh, yes. the first the first uh, of the three seems to be a candidate for optimizing not just the the magnetic part right yeah, yeah. yeah you can yeah, your your uh, loss function you can mm -hmm. choose as you want there is an yes. infinity of possibility for example in this case with uh, well, sorry I'm going to show you. In this case, we thought about also uh, because it's 2D, this yeah. is a vorticity, vertical, ah, yeah, the vertical just the verticality. The horizontal one is equal to not, hein? it's uh, okay in this case. Uh, then you can optimize, uh, but it's not working well for the moment. I don't know why. Then you can optimize, for example, the anthropy hein? yeah. in this case. Uh, then the, the, in the problem of, uh, like I told you, uh, oh, okay, so it's not to find minimal seed. Huh? I repeat, uh, wait, where, where is it again? Uh, the magnetic uh, problem that people are doing. Yes, I think in this case, they optimize the U and B. Uh, don't remember which one. Uh, yes, really, you put in your Lagrangian that you want. Yeah, yeah, so, so basically- You need to, uh, what, what you want. What you want to find, Nelly. Yeah, yeah. It's not magic. You say, oh, optimize, sure. I will see. No, of course, you, when you optimize something, you you need to show that you want to optimize. Yeah, yeah, and that's, uh, yeah, because I mean, that's it. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it can be a technique that uh, could be used to compare uh, optimal uh, uh, minima seeds and uh, potentially also to combine them to see if like no linear effects uh, yeah. may play a role and you don't necessarily go uh you, you don't necessarily have to to superpose uh, optimal uh, solution section basically for example in this problem we uh, we thought also perhaps it could be interesting also to do the optimization of the velocity and the the, the thermal uh, yeah. the field ah, sure. as well mm -hmm. it, all together uh then it doesn't matter uh, that you are doing. The nice thing with that, it's uh, the optimal problem, it's easy because you, you end up with a, whatever, it will be V, B, T, you end up with, you have a field, a 3D field uh, or, or, or several 3D field and all this field you put, uh, you put in, a, in a row vector, I mean, sure. just a line vector, okay? Uh, you put all together and you pass through the optimal uh, function. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. I mean, you pass through first, of course, your, your, your V, uh, and, and the gradient is the same also. The gradient will be also, uh, and the, the, the optimal system are going, okay, it's a sort of a huge uh, dimensional problem, sure. But, sure. and you are going, and the tech, optimal technique, they are using that all the time. Then this is good. So the good thing that you, then you can do 2D, 3D, whatever, uh, the good thing, uh, whatever the number of field, the good the thing that you have to do with your system is that you have to put uh, the field that you have in your uh, in your simulation, just to 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 transform in a, in a in a row in a vector line, and to pass through to the to the Python library to optimize it if you want. Sure, sure. sure. Then uh, it's at, uh, then it's why it could be generic. I mean the. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not too, too, too complicated. Then you, finally, the, that I discovered, I didn't realize uh, at the beginning, but uh, uh, you don't care. Finally, you just pass the gradient and uh, the gradient could be a vector line. And also, uh, also you put, uh, and then it, it would use the optimization for you. It's working well. Yeah, you, can, you can have a selective approach. Exactly. Then the problem is why it's this could be completely generic. Uh, it could be the system could be that you want, and uh, of course, after you can uh, changing the Lagrangian. You, okay, you 
but when you change the the, the loss function, ah oh yeah, sorry. Uh, when you lost when you change the loss your loss function, for example, then the the adjoint equation are changing a bit also. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. A bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because that's part of the optimization. Yeah. Then you need to. Alors, you need to take in comp uh, several cases, for example, in your code. Okay, if I uh, the case uh, uh, adjoint for uh, for the velocity or adjoint for uh, for the function less, uh, the, the less function with uh, anthropy and so on. So I mean, you need or all together or whatever. Uh, then you you need to to be a little bit careful about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, that's. Uh... Yeah, that's that's kind of clear, and I suppose also that uh, the optimization depends uh, uh, by also the initial condition you give because the adjoint problem is normally like uh, uh, it finds like a local optimum, right? Because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it doesn't matter the the, the 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 initial condition that you put here. For, for, for in my case, huh? for my case, we have just optimized yeah. B. Okay. Sure, sure. In our case, we just uh, optimize B. That we, which whatever doesn't matter. Anyway, even with the DNS, first you 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 end up with something, and if you change this, it's robust. Mm -hmm. Like I say, even if you change the velocity, the starting velocity also. Okay. Because I'm not op optimizing starting velocity, and it will be all the time if you want the seconds. Of uh, for but you can change it and you, you end up like I say the same minimal seed geometry not mm -hmm. in the same place but the same it's like here yeah, it was amusing uh, uh, we we had the minimal seed at the beginning there or say oh we don't like this very much but finally by changing uh, changing the, the the initial condition sometimes it's there sometimes it's there then mm -hmm. I put in the middle to be more fun for me, more uh, uh, for, for, to, to show it but uh, it could be uh, in some other place of course it's completely periodic box then it doesn't sure. matter sure sure um, okay okay so uh, thanks a lot once again uh, Yannick for uh, for the okay. for the seminar uh, I invite our audience to to thank our speaker of today and hope to see you soon uh, in two weeks actually okay. thanks again and okay. have a good evening okay. bye, bye.